Great day fitness. When it comes to working out, your mindset might be holding you back. Yeah, we're talking about self-sabotage. We all do it sometimes. Joe Carabasi is here, though, with some helpful tips so that we don't get in our own way, right? Yeah. I mean, that happens. Sometimes just as we're about to succeed at something, I don't know, what happens? Well, the strange and powerful thing about self-sabotage is it happens internally, and so it basically becomes our perception of reality. And so when we allow these things to get in our way, it makes the outside world around us different from it actually, than it actually is. And so it can send us off a beaten path. And I found through working with so many people over the years, there are generally five most common forms of self-sabotage. We all have in some variation. Okay. The first one is self-comparison. Oh. Yeah. Thief of all joy, they say. <laughs> well, it is true. And the self-comparison <laughs> is, is twofold. One, it's all Marla's it's, fault. <laughs> well, this, it's two part, right? The first part is self compare So a lot of times people will start a journey and they'll compare themselves where they are on that journey, whether it's day four or day 24, to where the end goal in their head that they should be. It's like climbing a mountain and you're in the base camp and you're comparing yourself to being at the summit. Like right. you're not supposed to be there. You're at base camp. You just started, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So that's the first error with comparison that oftentimes will kill your desire to continue with progress. The second part is like you were saying, what was it, Marla? Marla. Marla, Marla and Lauren. Damn Marla. But the problem with Mar comparing ourselves to Marla, it's yeah. an apples to oranges comparison, right? So if you're comparing yourself to someone else that is completely different, like they might be the same age, they might have the same occupation, might be doing the same plan. However, on a very cellular level, we are so different. And so making that comparison is truly the thief of joy. Mm -hmm. So we gotta stop that. Okay. All right. Number two is incongruence with self. So there's this issue that I see oftentimes where people have this like expectation of what they want and yet their behaviors don't match that. And so they, th they, they think they should be here, like right? they think they should be this amount of, of weight loss and yet their actions don't show that. Maybe they're not working out, maybe not eating clean, or maybe they're doing those things but they're drinking, you know, having a few glasses of wine every night, which by the way, none of that stuff is bad. The problem is when you expect a certain result but you're not putting in the work for that result and you end up, sh you know, Blaming yeah. yourself, yeah. and that self sabotage is not recognizing that hey, this is my, this is what I say I want, but this is what I'm doing. So I got to make some some balance here, some congruence. Yeah. Okay. So you want to if that happens, sometimes people get overwhelmed. So you want small steps. Well, yes, but also just saying hey, what do I want? Okay, am I willing to commit to that? Either are or you're not, and if if you're not, that's okay. So find a level of which you're willing to commit to yep. for a goal, and it could be anything better than nothing. Two minutes we have, Joe. Two All right, well, there's a lot more. Paralysis by analysis is a big one. What yes. about self-limiting perception? Did we well, self-limiting perceptions, we'll, we'll start with self-limiting perceptions. So with that, it's, it's the proverbial hamster wheel, right? Where you're just stuck on a cycle and then you perceive that you're too busy, there's not enough time, or there's, you perceive some sort of lack. And in doing so, you're never able to see what's in front of you, you can only see what's right, like the one step. And so the problem with this is, bad behaviors and bad thought processes become a self-fulfilling prophecy because you're going too fast. And so you got to time out with the old Zach Morris time out to get off the hamster wheel, take some time to assess where you're at, what's not working, what do you want to improve, what's important to your life, and what things can you do today. Okay. All right. Paralysis by overanalysis is thinking you need to know more than you actually do. This is the, I don't know what to do, or I'm stuck, or, you know. Or the perfection, like, okay, well, I can't do it unless I do eight million things, exactly. and you look at every angle, and yeah, yeah paralysis and analysis. I think Winston Churchill's one who said it, yeah. Yeah, exactly, and and with that is, is if I'm, if I'm going to eat clean, I, I can't, I have to eat super clean, like, there's no in between, and so with that, you're setting yourself up for failure each and every time. If everybody guns to the head, they would, you, we all know things that we can do right in this moment without any other new information. So just get started with those things. Okay, and self-shame is the last one? Well, that's a result of it all. Self-shame is basically making yourself feeling bad for feeling bad. We're human. I don't care who you see in this world, who you might look up to, everybody suffers in their own way. And that's okay. Yep. So don't make yourself feel worse for being a messy human. We all are. Yep. Uh, well, God knows I am. <laughs> We're all messy. We're all messy. That's right, baby. All right. So you can find Joe's podcast, Inspirational Rants with Joe Carabasi, right now. It's available on Spotify and SoundCloud. And it's coming soon to Apple Podcasts. You can also follow Joe on Instagram at Joe Carabasi to stay updated. Joe, good luck in your competitions. Thanks, man. Yeah. I'll see you before. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, yeah. America Excellent. contestant right here, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Go.